a front end loader is real useful. I'm gonna go through some of the techniques that I use to get the job done. Filling up the scoop is one of the biggest challenges. So what I do is I keep my blade down onto the ground just a little bit and I keep working the blade back and forth until I've got a good scoop of dirt. Now, if I hit a rock or just can't seem to penetrate into the pile of dirt, I may have to bring the scoot up just a little bit and continue to push so I can get a full scoop. Now, once I have a good scoop of dirt, I'm gonna go ahead and bring the entire loader up at the same time when I'm pushing forward. Now, when you pull the tractor in reverse, make sure that your blade is low because you don't want the center of gravity off. That's why you want to lower your bucket before you start moving because when you move, you're gonna feel that weight. When the tractor's too high and the center of gravity is off, this is when you could flip the tractor. Believe me, you can feel the difference of when this bucket is too high and you're not gonna wanna drive around with a bucket in the air. Now, the heavier the load, the more you will feel it. Now with a pile of rocks like this, you may not be able to scoop them up or all of them. So oftentimes you'll just take and hand load in these big rocks like this. Kind of like a big wheelbarrow, but a lot bigger. Now if you need more power, you can always bring the throttle up a bit. Your front tires need to be in good condition when you're doing work like this. It would be easy to have a blowout. Once you're starting to scoop, you can actually lift the entire tractor up off its front wheels to get a little bit more grab. Here you can see the tractor is starting to stall a bit. So I could probably bring the idle up a little bit more on this. Here I left the bucket a little high and you can see when I turn, the entire tractor will swing like a pendulum. You may not be able to see it too much in the picture, but boy, you can feel it. Once you drop your load of dirt, you may want to inch forward just a little bit, put your blade down, just kind of drag it over and smooth it out a bit. Now the more work your tractor can do, the less work you're going to have to do. You can see when that bucket gets a little bit higher, you can see the whole tractor bounce. That's because when the bucket is high, the center of gravity is changed. So we'll put our blade at a sharp angle and back drag backwards. This part of the greenhouse is high. You can see the strings that are marking what level is. So we'll just keep working the dirt higher until we've got it to the right elevation. The more time you spend with your tractor, the more time you'll be able to understand what it takes to get that dirt scooped up and be able to unload it and then back drag into a smooth finish. Eventually, it'll be like working with an extension of your hand. Trying to get a full scoop of dirt can be pretty tricky because you can't see when you've got a good scoop of dirt. You can only feel the weight. Sometimes it's good to have another person on the other side of the pile signal when you've got a good pile. That'll save you a lot of time. Once you have this technique down, you won't need that other person because you'll be able to do it by experience and by feel. If at all possible, you want a full scoop because you're trying to move dirt from point A to point B. And if you don't get a full load, you're gonna do a lot more of these trips. Once you get a majority of the dirt off the pile, then you're gonna be scraping up and cleaning to make sure that your elevation is where you're gonna want it to be. You're gonna want the blade of your bucket just below the front tires. And if you hit a big rock, you'll just kinda tap it up and keep moving to try to get the elevation to where you want it. You can also keep working that dirt back and forth and just loosen it up so when you go to grab the next scoop, it'll be a little looser. Now another little technique that you can do is drop your bucket and continue to back drag 
and this will also clean up your work as you go. Sometimes if you hit that pile unevenly, you can feel that there's more dirt in one side of the bucket than the other. So you can just kind of keep working it, shake it around a little bit, and try to even it up. If you feel this happening, you can actually drop the bucket back down and the dirt will kind of redistribute and then you can put your blade back down and go ahead and push it up again to get a more even load in your bucket. It might take you a couple times to get the load evened up, but a good full scoop of dirt is one less trip you may have to take. There's definitely a trick to dropping the dirt, taking the blade, and then scooping it off at the correct elevation. These strings really do help to make sure you're getting it to the right elevation. You kind of have to know where your blade is because typically you want to go too low. And every once in a while to get it all smooth, you may go all the way to the front and just back drag all the way back. Using the front edge of your blade is the cleanest, but if you use the back portion of your blade, there's a lot more aggressive pull that you can get. Because your blade is completely locked in, you'll get a lot straighter path when you do a back drag like this. Now it may not be as clean, but it'll be straighter. Now you can take the front edge and go ahead and lower it just below the front tires for pressure and then go ahead and push forward and you're going to be able to loosen this up so you can re-back drag and get it just a little cleaner. Sometimes it's a back and forth motion. Kind of loosen it up and then back dragging. Now that we have it loosened up, we'll go ahead and do that more aggressive back drag to make sure everything's nice, flat, and straight. If I feel the contour is close enough, I'll keep the blade in the exact same locked position. I'll move it forward like that, and then back drag again. Once you've got your elevation correct, you just keep this process going, keeping your tires on the fresh dirt, and then you back drag and keep working the contour where you want it. You can see the tires will keep everything flat and straight and evenly distribute that dirt. Once the dirt is loosened up, just by going back and forth with the tractor, you'll eventually get all the bumps leveled out and it'll look like a road. If there's a bump in the road, your tires will let you know. If the bump is big enough, you'll just go and grab another scoop of dirt, put it in, and then just kind of work it back and forth until that bump is worked out of the road. Well, I hope you have found these techniques useful. So when you're out there trying to figure out how to make all this stuff work, you'll be able to refer back to some of the concepts in this video. And if you have any techniques that are really useful to you, please leave comments below. If you found the video useful or entertaining, please give the video a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it, and I'll see you next time.